Hey everyone, I hope that you're doing well. Welcome to another video. Uh, I don't think that today's episode is gonna be as short as the last couple of ones. I think in the last couple of ones, I didn't have a whole lot to say or I was a little uh, conscientious or self-aware. Um, I felt like maybe I was talking too much and I wanted to keep the video shorter. Um, in today's episode, I really don't care. <laughs> and so I mean that in the nicest of ways. Um, I think that there are some things that uh, are important and some things that should be said. And today I'm gonna be talking about those things. Now, uh, the majority of today's episode is going to be centered around the iPhone 11 Pro. This is a phone that I was recently gifted and I'm so blessed and so moved by this gift. Someone who I love tremendously gifted me with this iPhone because she saw that uh, my iPhone 8 Plus, uh, it was just completely messed up and it just, it wasn't working very well. And so anyway, so uh, she gave me uh, an iPhone 11 Pro that she's no longer using. And I gotta tell you, this phone is amazing. Um, it's incredible to me how powerful uh, our phones have gotten. And shooting with an iPhone is not something that's new to me. I have been shooting with uh, iPhones since I got my very first one. And I've always loved shooting with the iPhone. And uh, I was actually in downtown LA. I had gone there to run an errand. And once I finished running that errand, um, I thought, you know what, I have a little bit of time to kill. So um, I'm just gonna go for a little photo walk with uh, the iPhone 11 uh, Pro. I hope that you enjoy. I gotta tell you, um, the first thing that jumped out at me was the video capabilities. It is so smooth. For someone like myself who doesn't like to use gimbals, uh, the iPhone 11 Pro is just phenomenal. It's just really, really smooth. Any, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, roll this clip from the Santa Monica Pier. I hope that you enjoy. Step up. 
Southern California So that's pretty much the pictures that I was able to get. It was a very quick walk. I just went up uh, the pier or into the pier to the very end and then I came back and that's what you just saw now. Uh, so um, yeah, I do wanna take a moment to talk about something that's been on my mind for a little bit is I feel like we live in a very sale-centric, consumer-centric society and, um, and it is what it is right? Whether that's good or bad, it is what it is. But speaking specifically about photography, I feel like within that trend of selling gear, selling gear, selling gear, this is the best gear. Um, what I'm going to tell you is just my opinion. It's not in any way some type of transcendental truth, and I'm not under that impression. But I do feel that like the, the essence of certain things get lost. And... Um, I don't know. I think it's important to shoot with whatever we have. It's not that I'm encouraging you to go out and get rid of your like uh, expensive cameras to use cheap gear, right? So if you're like a photographer who uh, has been struggling or you bought yourself like, I don't know, a point and shoot or all you have is your phone, but you like photography and you want to travel and you want to take pictures of stuff and you want to get better, but you have come to believe that you need the best gear to do it, the whole point is to expose people to the fact that you can shoot with whatever you have. And maybe um, I wouldn't shoot a wedding with an iPhone, but if I had to, if I was stuck on an island and, uh, and one of the couples on the island that was stuck uh, with me in our group said, we wanna get married and all I had was my iPhone, I would make good quality pictures with my iPhone. I would make photographs that were special to those people because I would focus on capturing moments that are special to these people. And so I think that is the whole point of today. I promised myself that I would not tell people what to do on this channel or in my personal life unless people ask me. So I'm not telling you what you should do. I'm not telling you to be like me. I'm just sharing with you that it is possible to make pictures that are important to you with what you already have access to. If you don't have an iPhone 11, an iPhone 6 is good enough. An iPhone 5 is good enough. And um, and yeah, that's. Uh, I know that today I spoke a lot more than I usually do, but I had something to say today. I hope that you found some value in today's uh, episode and I wish you all a great morning, afternoon or evening. Thank you for your continued support and I will see you in next week's episode. Take care, bye. Thank you.